Welcome back to the Urban Farmyard, where this city girl goes country. In today's video, I'm talking about what happens when you lose a pet and what I do to help ease the grief that comes with a little pet dying. Let's go take a look. Hi guys, well I have a huge number of animals here in the house with me and unfortunately that means that I do deal with death quite frequently. Unfortunately animals really are going to break your heart at some point in time. Their lifespan is a lot shorter than ours so at some point in time you are going to lose a little one and you are going to go through the grieving process of having to say goodbye. I've been through this process numerous times with cats in particular and I've found that over time the way I say goodbye has evolved and it really has helped to soften the blow. When my first cat died it happened really suddenly. She was hit by a car on the road and she was killed instantly. I knew that I wanted to have her cremated so that I could keep her ashes with me but what I didn't realise is that I didn't actually need to deliver her into the crematorium straight away. In this instance, Ruby did go off to be cremated pretty much straight away. It meant that I had maybe an hour with her before I popped her in the car and took her out there. And to be honest, an hour with her wasn't long enough. And it took me a long time to get used to the fact that she was no longer with me. What I came to realise is it's actually absolutely fine to keep your pet with you overnight for a 24 hour period or so before you need to start thinking about what you want to do with them. Over that period of time their body does go through a number of stages. They initially go from being very limp to their body starting to tense up as the rigor mortis process sets in and they do become quite stiff and hard. While their body is still quite limp I find it's incredibly comforting to just sit and hold and be with them. As their body starts to stiffen up you'll find that whole Holding and cuddling them may become a little bit less comfortable. It really depends on what you are comfortable with. I do still keep them here with me during that process though. I tend to leave them here on the bed with me and I also give our other animals the opportunity to come and see them so that they recognise what's happened and they can also say goodbye. Over the next 24 hours or so, while I am still keeping my pet with me, you will find that their little body starts to break down. You will find that the collection of gas in their tummy does start to release through their mouth and you will get a level of aroma, so if you are particularly sensitive to scent, you may find that you won't be able to sit with them as long as perhaps someone who's less sensitive to aroma. By the next day you will possibly find that your pet is no longer as stiff as they were the day before but at this point it's probably a good idea to hop in the car and take them off to a crematorium or start thinking about burying them in your backyard. I've moved houses a number of times and I do have some pets buried at previous houses but the fact that I have moved from one house to another means that I really do prefer to have my pets cremated. That means that I can take them with me and I find comfort in the fact that they are still here in the house with me. My intention when I die is to also be cremated. I intend for my pet's ashes to be mixed with mine and we will at that point all be scattered together. When you take your pet in to be cremated, generally the crematorium will need to keep them overnight and you can choose whether to have them cremated individually or as part of a community group. I always choose to have my pet cremated individually so I know that the ashes that are returned are solely their ashes and not a combination of ashes from my pet and other pets. In general the crematorium will need to keep your pet overnight. The cremation process takes a little bit of time and the crematorium needs time to allow your pet's ashes to cool, allow time to pop them in a little box and allow time to produce the certificate which verifies that the ashes that they have returned to you are those of your pet. The little urns that I prefer to have my little guys popped into are these beautiful little wooden boxes. Most crematoriums carry something similar to this and so I have a little matching set that belongs to each of the cats that has passed away. In terms of identifying each box I do one of two things. Most crematoriums will produce a beautiful engraved plaque which will sit on the top of the box and that's what's happened with Jasper here and I actually found that bringing home a box which already has an engraved label with his name on it 
felt a lot more comforting than just bringing a blank box home. It gave him a little identity immediately and somehow that just made me feel a little bit better about the grieving process. In other cases what I do is I take my pet's name tag from their collar and I place that on the top of the box instead of the engraved plaque. This is a really lovely way of remembering them through the last collar that they wore before they passed away. Now I find as soon as their ashes come home I immediately feel a lot more comfortable. One of the most difficult periods is probably the 24 hour period where they're off at the crematorium and you're waiting to bring them home. I find as soon as they come home I do feel a lot more calm and the grief is eased. From there what I often do is I will pop their little urn between the pillows on the bed and I will just leave it there so that they are close to me for as long as I feel they need to be there. At that point I will then generally move their urn and I will pop them up with the little friends that have passed away prior to their passing so that they can all be together. To what extent you grieve, to what extent you choose to say goodbye to a pet really is an individual thing. This is simply the process which has helped enormously for me. I hope today has been helpful and I will see you back here tomorrow.